I had like shit to the blog. It's nuts to me. No, but that's what happens when you listen to chat. Chat takes 100% blame. They're screaming, Ghost in the jar! Ghost in the jar! And I'm just like, okay, but I'm not gonna think about it. No, I'm totally kidding. That was my executive decision and I decided to do it. I, I guess I just. I, I just. It felt okay to go to Sindra there. I thought we had enough block for the heart. I wasn't worried about it. I was not worried about it, but maybe I was wrong. Panacea on the defect. Okay, last time I take that. Let me see. Panacea on the defect means all we gotta do is find a corpse, a uh, bias cog, and maybe just win the run. It's a little early to take Panacea, but like at the same time, Artifact is so good in the defect. Uh, we have so much block, it was, it's a little surprising we didn't have any block towards the bottom halves. I should have been more mindful of potentially bad draws. I was overly confident. And taking 30 damage against the actual elite, like just as a, as a reminder, since you have me in the bone, it's better to take damage on the Act 4 Elite, take damage from me in the Bone, and activate that Relic so that you have the Ghost and Jar for the Heart. Because you can't activate me in the Bone against the Heart. Once you take damage there, the, that's the last fight of the game. So you might as well take get value out of me in the Bone and then save the Ghost and Jar for when it matters, you know. It's just like fundamentally, it makes more sense. But Panacea on the Defect is really strong. Just, right now we're going to really be lacking damage, and we're going for an aggressive path. And I really want some damage. So let me see. Like rip and tear removal. I'll do it. This would be kind of this would be since we're not on a streak, we'll just have some fun with this one. We'll have some fun with this one. That's good. That's a good potion. These are kind of some, some bad card options, but we get another snipe, so we got double snipe. This is actually kind of insane. The only problem is this, that we have no front loader damage, or sh like no cards at all. We have two free elites, but then what? I don't know. We have to figure it out. The boot as well? Uh, what the f... I mean, I could take it, but I'm also not going to take it. Sorry. Alright, uh, so we need like damage. What's up, Thunderman? How you doing, buddy? Wait, guys, wait, where's our deck? We have no deck. What? Hello? Wait, do we just die to the uh this fight here? If this is if this is the uh Wait, what? Is, if this is the girl love, don't we just die? I mean, I guess we could do Essence of Darkness. Wait, I guess Essence of Darkness is what we're gonna use if it's Gremlin Nub. Then how do we kill the Guardian? Kill the guardian. Fajri kills the guardian. We're killing Vajra kills the guardian. We we found it. We're we're good. We got a Vajra for the guardian. We won. Barrage kills the Guardian. Are oh, we won? Vajra Barrage, we got our damage. Alright guys, we won. Alright, it was looking scary, but we did it. Wow, amazing. Came together, no problem. We actually did it. Can you believe it? Like, we actually did it. It's nuts. Perfect, but like, eh. 
Perfect's overrated. Oh, uh, we can let him simmer. So, like I said, we do this. We have to do. We're good. Simmer, simmer. It's not monkey ass at all. We've won. We have won, my friends. Crazy how that happens sometimes. save life now, but you know I gotta get some damage in because you know if I don't do damage then maybe it becomes monk s right Could this fight never worried We literally died on the heart against the silent. I disrespected it. We got bias, so since we have Panacea, did we just snap pick this? We have Panacea. Wait, did we keep the deck small? And we I'll tell you what. If I take bias, I I don't need add cards. I won the run. Take me on the challenge. Okay, guys. If I don't win the run with just this deck right here and bias, uh, I'll give five different subs. Okay, I'm, I'm lying. I actually need more cards. I need more cards. I lied. But this is pretty good though. Like, okay, this is pretty good. Is this a choker run? Curse Bell's not bad. Calling Bell's not bad here, but maybe choker's okay. Do we play more than six cards? Do we need to play more than six cards? I like the energy here. Choker's fundamentally, like, annoying at times because the ceiling of it becomes... Like as you enter Act 3 and Act 4, you're like, damn it, Choker, why do you exist? But for now, we're going to take as many elites as possible. So we're going to... We're going to nullify Choker by getting three elites Act 2. That's how we do it. We're like, sure, I have Choker, but... We're going to maximize Act 2. That sounds like my sex life, uh, Chief Fuka. I don't know, that was a weird... I tried making that joke work. Let's just ignore that joke. Uh, this is a little unfortunate, actually. I had two games there. Okay, now I should beat this guy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, I want my gold. I'm sorry. I need my gold. Don't you dare. So we get Streamline for some damages. Don't we just want to do Bias Panacea as often as possible? Yes, it's worth it. My gold's worth it. Trust me. You're gonna you're gonna see a crazy something in the shop, and you're gonna be like, "Thank God we have that forty gold." We got a full block for days. Now we just barrage and win. Oh my god, we're steamrolling. Got ball lightning, I'll take that one. Don't you dare take my gold. Okay, now, see, I have a panacea for that debuff, right? But then I got an ancient pot for my biased. And now we're cooking with gas. You don't scare me. I don't even need to do... Theoretically, don't even need to, uh... We're gonna take some damage here. That's probably okay. Like, okay, that's fine. We have... This heals us. So if I want, I guess I could do Ancient Pot now. Do I want to save it for the Elite, though? What's good, bro? What's up, Raymundo? Raymundo, I'm offended that... We just, we just rather do Bias and not waste our potion, but we do get healing off of it. So here's my philosophy. The philosophy is that like I want to get Toy Underneath up to value because I took damage in this fight, so I'd rather just use it. But then I also want to have Ancient Pot for the Elite. But we don't even Ancient Pot because we do have Panacea. So I just rather get the healing. 
What? Thank you. You're about to save. There's no way that guy lives. No way RNG's gonna fuck me in that one. Okay, let me get a potion, right? Okay, if we got a potion, it'd be worth it. But got Glacier instead. And you guys are probably wondering, like, man, this guy just got Glacier. This guy's an ultimate lucker. I'm about to get a really good card right now. Okay, so we got Static Discharge, which we got Genetic Algorithm. Those are the two cards I'm looking at. Static Discharge, Genetic Algorithm. Let me see. Going against the Automated. Interesting. Genetic Algorithm has some ceiling scaling that I might want. We might find Chemical X to get Reinforced Body. Nope, not, not happening. That's not one of those runs. I think Static Discharge is probably better here. For the book of stabbing. Sorry, genetic. Yeah, I don't like this fight. Yep, I'm showing feather though. Compound for card draw. Eh? What's up, student? The runs are going good. We had honestly we had good runs. Like uh, the Southern run, it was a sad ending, but it was a good run. I would say it was a good run. Whoa! One second. Spill a tiny bit of water. Do you want weaken here? You probably want weaken. Okay, my bad. Spill some water. Getting the weak in here, or do we want anchor turn one? Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. What? Why, Aaron? But why? I don't want the card draw. Got cool headed for that, and like I like the weekend, and also you know anchor turn one. Aaron, I'm gonna refund. Cause I want to win here, honestly. I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I have water still on my desk. Yikes. I should stop doing that. I should, okay, I should, honestly, I should redeem. I should redeem these things. I, I am being kind of a dick by doing that, right? Like, that's not right. I should not do that. I'm being a dick. I'm being a dick. There you go. I refunded you. I, 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 I hereby will respect all of your future... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, you make a good point. That is that is a good point. How am I going to compile these wins? Also, can I ask you guys a question? Where's my Panacea? Yeah, where's my Panacea? Wait, now, but now Panacea blocks that guy? Ah, oh, fuck me. Uh, okay. How do we do this? Maybe we need Compile Driver after all? Wait, maybe we do need Compile Driver? Wait, why is our deck struggling? <laughs> this run is so... <laughs> I mean, the ball line is too good here to pass up. That's the problem. I don't know if it's the mixture of like the water or my, but my mouse is acting funny. Maybe it's... Okay. Oh, boy. I gotta kill this guy. I gotta hope that the lightning hits him, and then by doing that, we. I mean, that's a really big gamble. The lightning hits him. We need to upgrade Fantasy. Yeah, but this guy does two debuffs. So, like, if Fantasy was upgraded, this guy does two debuffs. Doesn't matter. Gotta pray to the RNG gods. I need to get one and four, one and four twice. 
I got one for one for twice, but just on the wrong guy. I'm probably dead here, actually, by the way. Close enough. So we'll get a rest in. <sighs> Wait, how do I get a rest in when I'm fighting these elites? Wait a minute. Wait. I have to fight this and then I gotta fight elites? Uh. Gabriel's with the Twitch Prime. Welcome back. Man. Thank you. Welcome back and welcome. So, wait, how do we get a rest with this path? Uh, okay, the shop has waffle. This is harder than a leaf fight right now. Because I want to kill this thing, but then the one will kills me straight up. So, how do I manage? This guy needs to die, but then the one will kills me, right? Hmm. I gotta take that risk. To use this prematurely. Hmm. Cool. Now I'm frail. So this does twenty four. That should be fine. I want to use that to discharge. Is 18 fine? 18 is fine as well, so it's static and reinforced. I, I want frost. Should I get frost out as well? The card is pretty good because the card gets me that much closer to Panacea biased. And maybe I don't even need Panacea for the, I can use it for the vulnerable. Like maybe card is better play here. But if, if I do this and it hits the guy, I get vulnerable anyways. So we do this, and I, I'm trusting RNG. What? I I guess the I mean I I, I trust. Okay. Do we stupid guys now? We should win the fight with bias, right? Straight up. Should straight up win. Before we're dead, right? There's still a chance. Oh. Electro damage probably wins the fight for us. Do we just take frozen egg waffle uh frozen egg electro into a region pot and that's how we win? MF sandwich time, thank you for the twitter one sub, appreciate it. Question is, do you want to do glacier, or do you want to keep the lightning for damage? Probably glacier. Or do you want to keep it for damage? Probably glacier, huh? Probably glacier, because that means electrodynamics actually is a huge block when I draw it. All right, I'm hoping we find panacea, but I guess I kind of realized. Panacea is. I think we just do bias anyways. Because if. We have Electro coming out and stuff. And. And we're on a clock, big time.
I'm on a big clock. It's a winnable clock. I just I wish I can just enter in and get the one extra healing, but I can't, unfortunately. If we get one rest in, we should be able to beat one rest in and one more elite, and then we just win. I said we worried, but eh, easy. Came out of that like a champion. Double to go for the eyes means I, I want to be able to get rid of his artifacts so I can weaken him, but eh, it's also kind of. Confadra would be nice. I, I, I'm with you at this point. I think we're just doing vice preemptively now. I should upgrade buys, by the way. I don't want to get any more. I, okay, Panacea might be worth it because he does he does do a wonderful at some point, right? I don't want any more days though. Okay, so capacitor is really good because we do have biased as an out, right? So we have biased Penacea as an out. Now, if we just get seek and get biased Penacea out, we win with the capacitor. At least we do pretty good. Now, this guy, this elite, is, if since it's slavers, we might have to rest. But we have electrodynamics, and we have blood vial, and we've got some potions. So we have electrodynamics. I think we just win with electrodynamics. Now, you guys are probably gonna. Be really mad for doing that, but I have electro confidence. Yikes! Do I do bias capacitor, then reboot and hope to find compile? Not compile, but I mean uh, electrodynamics. Or do we just consume for free? Do we just consume for free? Or do I do reboot, upgrade the reboot, and then draw seven cards, hopefully find Electro? Or we do consume for free? I need to, I need to save money for Electro, right? Then we don't have... Choker messed me up. I'm mad at Choker. I'm really mad at Choker there. Damn you, Choker. The Donny Insurance is a different kind of it's a different kind of run. I need to kill these guys because they're about to have my biased. I need my biased. Give me my biased. You. I need it. Game over. Now I want you guys to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If I rule the world. I want to get some zap going. But we could do this for now. I'll do this. That was a pen and barrage. 
got the seek. We got the seek. We got the seek. We got the seek. I'm happy. Sick. Oh my lord. Have the... Had the RNG guide said, take it all, my son. You deserve it. You know, Coffee Dipper's not bad. Coffee Dipper's not bad there either. And I guess there's also a story for, like, free Frost Orbs. I say free, it's not free, but... Let's see what the path is going to be. To do that, we're forced to do that. Okay, let's go. A good change to a program, I think they need to restructure how the defect works in terms of uh, that whole other side. The, the whole ugly, there's a whole ugly side of defects that they need to work on. It's like the big bad ugly side that we don't talk about, and that is orbs are just more efficient at everything. That's the ugly truth. Aaron Hill is the goddamn genius. I did it, Aaron. All right, you happy? I redeemed it for you. I did it for you, Aaron. Ah, that was the left card. All right, so we got potion boat with entropic brew. Is that worth it? Or we could take hologram. Remember, we want to keep the deck small because finding seek and bias, finding seek is so important. Potion about dropping is interesting, but you could also just remove a strike, which is probably just as good. But potion belt and tropic, I mean, that means for this. What about second loop here? Because we have bias, second loop. So of course it's gonna make the waking one stronger, but like once we get panacea bias out, we can play both loops and still be fine. Potion belt, you're a doozy. That's a that, wait, should I take a second barrage, guys? Barrage does my damage. Like, we have pen nib. Do we just take barrage? Like, unironically take barrage for damage. Although, do you think barrage is enough? Because now we have damage from uh, lightning. But, I mean, we have pen nib, Plus, we have capacitor. And we have Vajra. So, barrage is, like, really solid. But I like the like, small as it is. Oh, uh, maybe the hologram is interesting, though, as well. All right, so we got this. Yikes. Imagine being worried. <laughs> Imagine being worried. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be, couldn't be me. That's hilarious. Okay, so do you want to remove? Was that our first removal? The second removal, right? So the next removal is 100 gold, which means we can't remove another strike here. I would love to remove one more strike, and then we're good. Tiny chest is interesting. Oh, I'll take it. So what cards are we looking for? Blind is interesting. Finesse is interesting. Good seek. Alright, GG. I feel confident this is GG ish. I gotta go this way. I'm forced, forced, forced. So, Calibre should be great here. Also, I should play cards for Ink Bottle. Why is this guy doing so much damage? Can we, can we talk about that? Yikes. Damn. Damn. Uh, is bias premature here? I don't really have the best damage for this guy. I guess I have barrage. Choker's hmm. gonna mess me up, of course. Ink bottle. Fuck. Wait, I should. This is gonna be a tough fight. I need barrage to pop off. I think we devised now. It feels fine. I said I get lightning on loop and we're good. I 
think that's fine. Any bottle. I can use Seek here for Glacier. I can Seek out Glacier here. Is it necessary? Or should I just do Reinforced Body? Reinforced Body is just better. But I want to get Lightning on Loop. This barrage is doing a lot of damage. I need to get buys with that. So getting early penalty kind of sucks. so many cards I can play. Wow. Ink the, uh, Choker is messing me up big time. It's a lot of damage. Deck's not that good, actually. Well, Choker's making my deck not that good. Next turn's a bad turn. I don't like this at all. Save barrage. I gotta save barrage, but like, eh. Thank God. Okay, so uh, I think genetics is a little too late to take now. Absolutely too late. White noise. It sounds like it's kind of low in fact right now. I think we just passed now. I guess we can beam for more AOE, and we also get um, some more AOE and some some card draw, which we have a lot of. Ah, uh, but Choker's already messing us up. So you can beam for. Ah, uh, we're good. Although the house with the cultist, are we doing electric dynamics for that? Mm, might just single target barrage. I was thinking to a target barrage here. Whetstone. Yeah. Alright, do we rest for this? For the sparkle, or do we feel confident that we got this? I mean, what did we just fight? We fought a nemesis, alright? So it's gonna be Repto or Giant Head. I feel good against Repto. Against Giant Head, I'm a little bit... I feel kind of against Giant, Giant Head. I had time to set up against Giant Head, and from there, I just do, um... Loop 
Frost shenanigans. I feel fun against Giant Head. I'm not sure I feel fun against as well. I need to get Electro early. Uh, we got Pies. Oof. I don't have. I should have got. I need a hologram in this deck. I need a hologram in this deck, guys. I think I have a regal pillow. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use regal pillow here. I'm gonna use regal pillow here. Defects good. Tiny chest? Nope, I can't. This is a tough fight, actually. This is a tough fight. I don't like this fight at all. This fight's really bad. Oh. This fight's really rough. Fuck. What the f- I could- Wait, what? I have that? That exists? I have Akavaka Pendiv? Jesus Christ. Uh, as long as I survive here, I just gotta get a real pillow rest and then we we'll just, we'll just focus pot on the boss. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Crazy damages. Insane damage. I really want to get Electro out. I also want to not take damage. So okay, this as we got it's okay. So we're looking at 27 damage. So Electro is necessary. Uh, how do we mitigate and also get Electro? I guess reinforced body. I could do Panis. I could just do Bias Panacea now. If I do Bias Panacea now. Uh, the fight should be one, but then I don't get the full block. What's up, Ninja? 
Wait, if I do buys now... How much block do I have? Got 14 plus 7. I got 21 block. It's not good enough. I could just do like... Electro... Reinforced. That should be fine. How much reinforced though? It's going to be 21 block as well. Still not enough. But 21 block plus all the frosts. Oh yeah, that's cool. So we can do this for 14, right? Take one damage. No damage. Yeah, I don't need to kind of see it. for swag. Let's stack up some things like let's stack up the uh never mind. Rebound's interesting. If I do rebound on things like glacier, rebound on things like barrage. Like I can see a place for rebounds. Rebound barrage, rebound glacier. Because we don't have hologram, so instead of having hologram what we could do is like rebound for recursion. What's the best place for rebound to how is it relevant on average? Rebound Glacier maybe? Rebound Barrage? That's the only thing I can see the most relevant. Rebound Reinforced as well. Hmm. It's a blazing fast run. You think he's low impact because of Joker? Well, here's the thing. I think our turns are just like... Depending too much. I mean, I guess we, have, we do have cool edits. Ten, we have two cool edits. Uh, maybe the Kapow would have been nice. I just don't like how my turns are with no with no hologram. If I get Glacier on the wrong turn, I feel it's kind of bad. Yo, hey, I'm glad to hear it, Waffles. I wonder if Energy Pot was simply just better than Entropic. It's hard to say. Here's the thing. I think Electro is pretty worth it in this fight just to kill the Cultist. That means I give him, I'm giving him some strength. I could say focus power for the heart, but I'd rather just... Uh, I have a lot of powers. I'd rather just use focus for this fight. I feel like Electro is worth it for the heart. I mean, for the, um, the cult this year. And loop is good, but I think loop is better after I get my stuff out. And by stuff out, I mean... By stuff out, I mean... Um, Electro. It's not Electro, sorry. Biased. I want to use this now, see what we get. Speed pod is nice. Nineteen block. We're looking at nineteen. I can block for another eighteen. Could take three damage to the face, or I could just full block. Okay, should be game over. So now we can do loops with impunity. We can now loop with impunity. Oh, capacitor! Wait, fuck! That's a lot of. Wait, wait, that's a lot of. Yes, but that. Okay, but that is a lot of strength. That's a lot of strength. But yes. That's a little risky, man. Loop with impunity. I'm a man of my word. When I say it, I'll mean it. Alright, it's time to end turn. We just end turn and win now. As long as we get the weekend. Barrage. We can do ink bottle stuff. Do we just stay pendant for barrage? Ink bottle stuff? I'll do ink bottle stuff. Hey, by the way, guys, calibers would be good here. I just want to get ink bottles because I want to find barrage sooner, but maybe it's better to just end turn. One from barrage. I also want to keep weakening him. Ah, it's not worth it though. Fuck it, I don't want to draw a secret again. I want to find Barrage. Wait, where's Barrage? 
There it is. Alright, repeat the process. They don't drop potions. These fights do not drop potions. I gotta I gotta find um blind again. These fights do not drop potions. I still got a weakening because like weakening still pretty important. And I'm also okay. There's a weakening. I found it. Barrage now. Barrage, barrage, barrage. Got it. Can you just die so like I can do static discharge? Jesus Christ. Unfortunate. Wanna put input uh maybe better Try to leave it at nine maybe. If we can. Secret trick of just a simple little A simple little bias in Panacea, and when it pops off, it pops off big. So we can kill him now, and then we can get Ink Bottle at 9. Is that beautiful or glorious or what? Both? Ink Bottle at 9, Happy Flower at 2. Can we just talk about things that happened? Alright, cool. Oh my god, say it ain't so! In the arms of an angel. I will fly away. Alright, GG. So, let's find Electro and we win. Alright, we found Electro, we won. for wave. We win, boys. We win. We are winners. We are winners. You want to stack this up at 9, right? Pen as well. So this is stacky time. Stacky, stacky. I leave Ink Bottle at 9 and end the fight like that. So leading part of nine end the fight. Game over. Toss a coin to your streamer. Oh valley of plenty. The fight is now over. Yeah. Now I want to draw on turn one because I want to get the biggest fat turn one to set myself up. But I mean you make a good point too, nudes. All right, let's get an upgrade. Okay, so Panacea Plus. Okay, here's the dilemma, guys. Panacea is very useful for stopping the vulnerable supports. Panacea is very useful for stopping the vulnerable against the heart, but I exclusively just want to use it for bias cog here, and I'll take the damage from the heart from the vulnerable. I don't care about that. Blind Plus is pretty good for this elite fight because it allows us to just strip both of their artifacts, but the fight's going to be won off the back of Electric Dynamics anyways. So I think Reinforced Body is probably the best upgrade. Because I'm not doing Panacea on turn 1 for the vulnerable. I'd I really want it for the bias cog. Oh, if we, okay. But if we upgrade Panacea, we could do Speed Pot and we could do bias cog. Gregor. 
is a useful backseater. Guys, put Gregor in the front seat. He's a passenger now. He said Panacea for speed by There's two artifact ticks. There's one for speed, one for bias. In a perfect world, right? In a non-perfect world, that's a, it's, a wa it's a wasted upgrade, all right? Because if you don't get Panacea on the first... Uh, you can still do it for speed pot. You're right. But then... Yeah, you're right. Fuck. You're right. Yeah, he's passenger now. 69 HP. This is actually quite nice. Okay, so... Art of War? No, why would you want that much energy with Choker? That's just asking for trouble. Okay, so we can get upgrades. What do we got here? What upgrades would we look for? We can upgrade some defense. We can upgrade the blind. We can upgrade... I mean, we can take upgrades, sure. We can look for cards. Like what? What cards would we look for? I think we're happy with our deck. Maybe we just get rid of this and get a power pot instead. Remove a strike. Remove one more strike here. So we can do paint or we can remove and get a power pot. Sounds good. Remove each strike is pretty valuable for this deck because all we want to find is our bias and our panacea. And as far as damage is concerned, we're going to do barrages. Barrages and lightning. That's for damage. There's Apotheosis. Look at my deck. You see how many upgrades I have? You see the upgrades? That's why Apotheosis is not good. That's a bias. That's a bias. That's a bias. Okay. All I need now is the Ink Bottle to give me Panacea. Are you ready? Close enough. Yep, exactly about the right. Exactly. Uh, do we just use bias prematurely for this fight and try to go for electric dynamics? Do we also just use the power pot because we want the fight to be uh, in this case, the drop a potion? I mean, the turn two is gonna suck here. I feel like I need bias for turn two. Thanks for following X Ar Ar Arbor. Turn two is gonna suck here. Yeah, because we've been streaking, horse. We've been streaking. We decided to put the monkey in the... Ah, the, the, mm. uh, like, it's a kind of a clock, but at the same time, it's like... We have Seek for Electro. We can end the fight pretty quickly, even with this ticking down. You know? And turn two is so important to save life. You hate to see it, but... We're popping it. Electro's too important. I think so is loop. Uh, let me see how much damage we're looking at. 40. So if we end with... Hmm. We're at 18. We need to get 32 blocks somehow while doing Electro. So the best way to do that is probably just Reinforced Body. That means I get 27 and I get Electro out. I'm taking some damage, but that's fine. Because Electro's out. Uh, is Electro more important than anything else? What else could I get? I can get Capacitor and Glacier out. Glacier is not here. Okay, I can get Electro go for the eyes, but go for the eyes would do how much? 28. Now my Frost. Oh, plus nine. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, I have full block with Electro to bring your first body. Go for the ass keeps him weakened for next turn as well. But I think next turn he's just doing a debuff. And I can have reinforced body in the deck as a draw. But, yeah, maybe that's better. It's pen stacked. I'd rather have the reinforced body in the deck. I get Ink Bottle stacked to uh, 9 here. Ink Bottle stacked to 9 is better because of uh, next turn I want to get a nice draw. So we can change stances and then we can do some work here. It's almost got, it almost has, um, so it's in 38, right? So if I just do this now, I got full block. 
Maybe it's better to draw first anyways though. And hmm. So uh, this is 27, still full block. I want to get damage out. But now we're losing like lightning and we're running out of time with biased. I should draw cards though. The only thing I can get from Power Pot is like buffer. This is fine though. I, I'm, so, I'm so fine with this. There's not much I could have done. Like, even if I leave myself a frost, I guess maybe leave myself a frost is probably worth it. Like, if I full block, I get frost and I can block this. But I, I, I feel like I'm trying to. I'm running low on time in terms of killing them. Maybe I was being a little bit too uh, antsy about that. I, I think getting the Power Pot for buffer is not even worth it at this point. Stack up ink bottle here. It could be fine. How this goes great. Hollywood is pretty good. Hollywood is pretty good here. I mean, I'm playing fast, so I'm not like maximizing perhaps the plays. I'm sure there's probably better lines, but I'm happy enough with the line. It's fine. What's up, Fulmanix? I think one hog was probably useful, honestly. Uh, I wouldn't want to draw into it early, but later on, I think it's pretty useful to have hologram to bring back something I might need. So I think it's worth it. If you get Panacea early with Speak Pot Bias, that'd be amazing. Okay. So here we just do loop. Ink Bottle's not that stacked. I wonder if we do Power Pot now as well. Well, that's gonna suck because I gotta survive the first two turns, right? And I'm gonna have only 46 HP. Oh man, I drew her in first body first turn as well. I can set up ink bottle here by playing this. Be nice to me, be nice to me, be nice to me. Please don't do 67 right now. Please don't do 67 right now. Please. This is nice. Okay. There's the bias, which is unfortunate. I should incapacitate capacitor twice. I should incapacitate capacitor twice. I'm just trying to block as much as possible. Uh, I should forget about echo form. I always forget about echo form first. I always forget about echo form first. But it's probably better to do capacitor twice. That just wins the run, right? Man, eh, this is fine though. This takes more life. Just barely though. Look, on the good, on the bright side though, if we do um, speed pot with the Panacea, we still always have that artifact, so we can always bring come back into this. But the only bad part is that we got hologram and buys in the same hand. But I always forget like the first Equiform proc. Uh, I I would have liked to thought about that more. I should slow down because maybe just bringing hologram from reinforced body is better in terms of strict block block. I think getting rid of hologram now is probably fine. Uh, I mean, how much block would I have gotten though if I just did hologram on the reinforce? Yeah, all we need right now is um, 
We should survive the next two turns. I think with Echo Home, we should be fine. Do I, really, do I want to get rid of Hologram now? What use of it? What, what use of it later? Later is like if I guess I want if I don't get bias by the time I redraw. But we just do double panacea, double bias. We just win, right? So double bias, double panacea wins as long as we survive next turn. We're a little behind on damage. We just gotta survive this turn. I'm looking dicey. So like, of course we get like. This would be a good time for me to have. I need to weaken here, so I think what we can do is. There's a lot of stuff we can play here. It's crazy. If we double panacea, we can do speed pot and then double biased, right? So if we do double panacea, we can double. We can do weak pot. Sorry, we can do speed pot now and then also double biased later on. And right now we can seek out like go for the eyes and reinforce body and that should be full block right and then later on we could do like double defrags double stuff like that and that should be fine so if you just double panacea now sure we're getting a lot of beat of death but getting speed pop plus double buys the double buys overkill maybe we don't care about that more important to just make sure we stay alive here right double buys could be overkill but if we do this now, okay. Let's see if we do speed pot. Then we do reinforce body. With go for the eyes. How much block do we have? We're gonna have six energy with reinforced body. And it's, it's gonna be 13, but with frail it's 25 less, right? So we're looking at like 10, 10 or 9 block. 9 times 6 is. Worst case scenario, still just fine. Things I also want to get loop out. So. If I get loop out. Even though it's not doubled, is it fine? How much, so 9 times that is 45. Let's weaken him first. So you have 45 block if I just do it for 5 energy. And I have loop out as well, which is pretty important. I can't, I don't double the loop, but that's okay. We have other things to double. Right? Sorry, static. Okay. Now we just get our, now we just get our focus on we win. Kind of a bad turn. We have no focus now. Let me just play defrag anyways. To be honest. We get double bias as a as an out here. Let me do dual cast as well. I don't want to take any more damage. I'm scared to use finesse here because if I do finesse. If I draw bias, it's all over, right? So I want to get rid of the slime, but if I if I do finesse as well and I draw bias, it's pretty detrimental. Now it's only a one in nineteen chance to draw bias, but if that happens, it sucks big balls. Whereas I could just keep the slime in the deck, I suppose. Oh, choker exists as well. All right. So then I just don't play finesse, which is fine. Think for choker. Otherwise, I might have fucked it up. So double static and then we're reinforced. I wonder how much damage we should. We're really low on damage. Now we need to take damage. Double static is kind of bad because if I take one hit, I lose my frost, which could be useful later on. So for, for the kill later on, if I'm slow, the double static will be a way to get lethal. So it's not bad, but gotta be careful not to take premature hits because I need the frost for now. Anyways, we're looking at 45, but we have 16, 28. Okay. So we should do some strikes. And double bias. As soon as we get that out, all we need to do is... Where is double bias? Jesus Christ, dude. Do 
you want to do Electro now? Just to get out of the deck? Later on, could be much better. Because if I double with Electro later on, it could be not only big damage, but a lot of block. We should have doing damage now, though. I guess we get out of the deck. But I'm going to lose some Frost here. I could use it as a finisher, though, as well. It's like, not only give me a lot of block when next time I play it, but then shit ton of damage. But we are really low on damage right now. Double Bias will last us to stall. Just haven't drawn it yet. If I can hit it all next turn, this is really bad. If I can hit at all. Okay, GG. Now that's not out of the woods yet, but it's fucking damn near close. Start working on damage now. Okay, 460 damage we're looking at. And double glacier next turn, so. That's not what I call it. Wait. 42. 52. Taking his actually worth it for static discharge there. I think it, should, it might actually be worth it to do static discharge there. I think it might be worth it. I need to find barrage. I need lighting. I need to find barrage. Pink bottle. Glacier coming up. We just won. Do we, do we look for double glacier here? Oh, it doesn't matter. I put lightning on lupus in it better. Lightning on lupus is going to be 60 damage. 60 damage plus everything else is GG. Smoked him. Toked him. Got him. And to think that Panacea on the floor... Uh, what, what floor did we get it on? Panacea, like on floor two? I'm telling you, man. Trust in the process. The process takes you home smoothly. How much hour? That was a quick run. That was like, what, an hour or what, 10 minutes? An hour and 11 minutes. That's what we like to see. Enjoy it, YouTube. You guys wanted fast runs. But let's get back on that streak, though. All right, three-hour runs. We ready? Streak time? <laughs>